I love you and all, but for the two weeks you visited, you ran up my bills. You ran up my light bills. You ran up my water bill. And I must inform you, I love you very much, but you have to pay the difference on my bills because you helped to run it up. Hello? Yeah, hi, baby. <clears throat> I'm doing fine. I miss you too. Yes, I'm calling you because I got my bills for last month and my water and light are extremely high. So I'm going to need you to pay the difference because I think you helped to run it up. No, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Uh, like seriously, my water bill is a hundred dollars over, and like my light bill is a, is like eighty dollars over. So I'm gonna need you to pay pay on those two. How did you do that? Okay, I'll explain to you because when you was here, all the showers you took, all the time you was brushing your teeth, all the times you wash your hands. All the time you flush toilets, all the clothes you was washing. Remember you took showers twice a day? Remember you kept washing your clothes? I know, because you only brought few clothes. You had to do what you had to do to keep yourself clean. I understand that. But you cannot say that using my water like that didn't add to my bill. It added so much to it. It's like $100 over. So I need you to pay that $100 difference. Yes, I'm serious. If, what do you mean, no, no girl? But, well, that's the first time for everything. And not to add my light bill, it's like $80 over. I explain to you, before you came, when I'm in this house, it's usually pitch dark. I'd rather use my flashlight and light candles because it helps me to save money. My light bill be like $30. But you came, you started complaining about how cold it was. We bump up the heat. The heat, I usually keep it at 65. We took it to 75, so it helped the bill to go high. Remember, we kept watching TV. I barely watched TV. You kept using my comp my computers and stuff. I mean, you needed light and all that stuff. All that stuff you was doing, it caused my light bill to go high. $80 over. Like I said, I don't be using power like that. And then I kept on cooking for you and stuff. Yes, all that ran my bills up. You, I mean, from doing your laundry to drying it, all that heat. Yeah, that ran my bill up $80 over. So I'm going to need you to pay the $100 on the water and $80 on my light. And not to forget, I'm going to need you to pay on my sanitation. What you mean, what? I'm serious. When you was here, didn't you, you pooped? You pooped and had to flush the toilet all the time. You was washing your hands, taking the shower. You know, dirty water was going down the drain and stuff. I had to wash your dirty dishes. You made trash. You made trash while you was here. So you need to pay $50 on my sanitation bill. I'm not even going to charge you for the food. Then you're going to just fall out and die. But you have to pay on my san sanitation. And not to forget all the gas I used while you was here. I know you bought the gas, but when you came, my tank wasn't empty. I used all my gas. That was my money. Every time the gas that you put in finished and we had to use my gas, that was my money. So you have to pay for my gas too. Yes, I'm serious right now. I'm not even joking. So to add it all up, you need to give me like $250 to help me catch up with my bills. Yes, $250. I'm serious right now. That's good that you're going to pay it. But what? We're over after this? We can be over. I don't care. We can be over. But you need to be ashamed that you're going to come and visit me for two weeks. And you don't want to pay. You want to? You don't want to help, you know, pay for the bills after you ran it up. I'm sure you ain't going to tell that story to nobody. Because that's embarrassing. Yeah, whatever. You don't want to hear anymore. I don't want to hear anymore either. Let it be over. Just send my money and I'm good. You good to go. Ain't nothing that to lose anyway. You ain't all that. Yeah, whatever. Bye.